What's up guys, Brennan here. I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna to be doing a piano tutorial for the song Yellow by Coldplay. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do new videos every single week and I do take requests for tutorials. So feel free to drop those down in the comment section below. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, so before the lyrics start, there's a little intro. So I'm gonna play it and then we're gonna learn the section. Here we go. hand first then the left hand so the right hand you start with your your thumb here in F sharp your pointer finger here in B and your fourth finger here on D sharp and you're gonna do this chord which is a group of notes played at the same time like this you're gonna do this eight times so it's one two three four five six seven eight then you move one key only. These two stay the same and you move your pinky up to E. So now you're playing F sharp, B, E. And you do this one three times. So that's F sharp, B, E, three times. Then you go back to the first one with your fourth finger here on D sharp. And you do that five times. So all together, first one, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch the pinky. One, two, three, then back to the first one. Two, three, four, five. So all together, it should sound like this. Okay? And then that whole part repeats a second time. Now the second time when you do it, you do it eight times. This three times and then the last one you just hit it once and you pause okay so all together we're gonna put these together so you start off doing it eight times switch the last key up to E and then back down five times then you repeat then you go So, one, two, three, last one. Okay, so the next part here is similar but slightly different. So you're gonna have your thumb on F sharp, point your finger on B, and stretch your pinky up to F sharp. And how this is gonna go is you're gonna do this one eight times, and then you move down to E. So just practice playing those. Move down to E. And the other two stay the same. So you're going to do each one eight times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch to E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next chord that you do is going to be A sharp, C sharp. Stretch your pinky all the way up to A sharp. And you're going to do this eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you move the pinky down to G sharp and you do that eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next chord that you're gonna do is your thumb on G sharp, point your finger on B, and your fourth finger here on D sharp. And you're gonna do that eight times. Then you move one finger down to C sharp and you do that eight times so just to practice that together switch okay a little tricky we're gonna put this whole part together in the right hand from the very top 
Here we go. That's when you pause. Then you start here. Switch to E. Then you jump up to this one. Switch the pinky down to G sharp. Then you jump down to this chord. Switch the middle finger down to C sharp. Okay, now the next part is the one you played at the beginning. So it's F sharp, B, and F sharp. So it's eight times, and then you move down here, just like we did at the beginning, to E. Eight times, and then that's when the next part starts, okay? A little tricky, let's put this whole thing together one more time, then we're gonna move on to the next part. From the top, here we go. Now we go up here to F. Switch up to this one. Move the pinky. Down to this one. Move to C sharp. Back to the first one. Move the fourth finger down to E. And then the next part starts. Okay, and in the left hand, you're gonna be playing what's called octaves, and that is your pinky and your thumb play the same key. So see how this is B, and this is also B. So you're gonna be playing them at the same time. And you're gonna be playing it six times. So it's gonna be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you move up to F sharp, and you do that six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you go down to E, and you do that six times. And then you do B again six times. Okay, so we're gonna put both hands together here. Now in the very intro, you don't play anything in the left hand. So it's just the part we learned. Then it repeats. You end on that chord. Now, this next part is when you play both at the same time. So we're gonna put both hands together here nice and slow. So remember to have your pinky and your thumb here on B. So here we go. So watch how many times I play it. One, two, three. Then you switch in the right hand. One, two, three. So that's six times total. Okay, so let's just count together. One, two, three. Switch in the right hand. Four, five, six. switch. One, two, three, four, five, six. You just have to remember that you move a little bit in the right hand, remember? Okay, now we're going to go to the third one. Okay, then back down to B. Let's try putting both hands together again for this intro. So remember nothing in the beginning. Now, coming together. Now the 
pedal for this song, you're gonna push down on the pedal and lift off and push back down every time that you move in the right hand. So what I mean by that is press down on your pedal and then when you go to move in the left hand, because remember your finger goes down here, you lift off the pedal and push back down right as you play the next one. So push down, lift and push down. I do have a video covering the piano pedal and a little bit more information about how that works. So if you're curious about that, you can check it out right here. So now that we know this whole intro, we're going to move on to the next section here. So I'm just going to play a little bit of the next section, then we're going to break down how to learn it. start with the melody in the right hand. So you're going to have your, you're going to start on your pointer finger here on C sharp and you're going to go like this. So that's C sharp and D sharp. Starting on this one. So that's look at the stars and then it's so that's then you jump up to F sharp and back to C sharp. So that's from the top. Look at the stars. Look how they shine for you. Okay. So practice that. Now we're going to learn the next part. The next part is you're going to start on B and it's going to go like this. So that's B, C sharp, B, C sharp, F sharp, back to B. So that's just without me talking. So let's put both parts together. got the first part done then you jump down here to your thumb on G sharp and I'm gonna play it through then we're gonna learn it so that's G sharp and B and you're going back and forth so you do that four times one two three four G sharp F sharp so without me talking Okay, a little tricky, let's put this whole thing together. Jump down to G sharp. Okay, so good news, the right hand then repeats. So it's exactly the same as the part we just learned. In the original song, he says different lyrics, but the tune is exactly the same, okay? So let's practice playing that through two times. Here we go, from the top.
part in the right hand is similar but a little bit different. So it's the part where he sings, so then I took my turn, so what a thing to have done, and it was all yellow. So that part is going to be like this. So that's just like what we learned. Then you go. And then lastly. Okay, so all together, we're gonna play this whole right hand section. left hand for this next section and put both hands together. So for the left hand, you're going to start with your pinky here on F sharp, point a finger on B, and thumb on D sharp. So you're going to do it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try and get that rhythm down. One, two, Okay, so the next chord you're going to do is you're going to move your two fingers up here and your pinky stays the same. So you're first playing this and then your two fingers move down to your pointer finger on A sharp and your thumb on C sharp. So it's, so you're going from here, move two fingers. And you're going to do this one six times, same rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're going to move down to here, which is your pinky on E, pointer finger on G sharp, and thumb on B. And you're going to do that six times, same rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then that whole thing repeats, each doing it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then back to the first one. So you're gonna be doing those three chords over and over. put both hands together and I will say that this timing is a little tricky to get the hang of so just bear with me here we're gonna try and put both hands together okay so I'm gonna play it nice and slow remember to have your positions ready so you're gonna be here and then in the right hand you're gonna be here my advice is to get both hands down separately perfect because then it's much easier to put both of them together when you go to play it together okay so here we go So we're going to try that. Now you switch. Switch. So you do this and then you come in on the right hand. So it's. 
it's a little bit tricky. Let's just try and practice it with me nice and slow. Here we go from the top. the right hand is kind of leading the show you got to play that melody exactly as you learned it and the left hand is just kind of filling the space between it and just remember that you do each one six times so that should help with the timing of it but we're going to play it through one more time and then move on to the next section here we go from the top so you start it you're starting in the left hand right hand a little bit different so the timing here is you play this four times and then on the fifth because remember you do it six times together so on the fourth time is when you come into the right hand so now it goes it's a little tricky but feel free to just play along with me in this video and practice it over and over and the timing for this will eventually get easier and easier but just remember to focus on the right hand melody part that he sings and just know that that leads the show and then the left hand is just kind of filling up space and just remember you do each one six times okay so before we move on to the next section I'm just gonna play through the whole part that we just learned full speed here we go Okay, so we're gonna learn the right hand first and then the left hand and play both together. So 
You're gonna start with your thumb here on B, and you're gonna jump up here to G sharp, and then down to F sharp. So it's gonna be like this. So. Then you go. So each one twice, E, F sharp, D sharp. So all together. Then that repeats. Then a third time. And then you go back to B. And then there's a little pause and then you go. That's a for you, I plead myself. And then you hold it. A little tricky, so let's go over this one more time. Then it repeats. Repeats. Then B. Pause. Okay, so the left hand for this part is going to be pinky on E, middle finger on G sharp, thumb on B. So you're going to go, and you hold it, then you move just your pinky, you leave these two the same, your pinky goes to D sharp. So, and you play that one once, so it's Last one, you move all three fingers down to these. So it's C sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. And you play that once. The rhythm for this is So we're going to put both hands together. This repeats a few times, so I'm going to show you how it works all together. Here we go. So you come in the left hand first, and then you do your skin. Okay? So left hand. Then you switch. A little tricky. Okay, let's do it again. Switch. Without me talking, watch me do it slow. Then that repeats. Repeats. hold this one and then this one you don't have anything else left in the left hand you go let's do it one more time all together Okay guys, and that is all for today's video. Definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do new videos every single week, piano tutorials, piano covers, original songs, and I appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos and learns something from them. All right, I'll see you guys next time.